With the goal of being better comes recognition of where life falls to the wayside of that idea. And while I don't think it should have to be pointed out, I will either way because I want it to be made known that this is the incorrect thing to do in a better society that we will make. Streamers, or more importantly, something that I think the world has coined as nuisance streamers, which are IRL streamers or just content creators whose main goal is to create anger and annoyance in their viewers by being an absolute nuisance to whoever is seen in their video. Some of today's best examples of this behavior would be from creators like Neon and Jack Doherty. And while these are not the only two, they would happen to be the most notable in today's day and age. Which, first and foremost, before I show you a clip of them, I just want to suggest that you go and check out Araco TV for these clips. Cause that is who created them in the first place and is also therefore providing a place to view these Muppets without giving them the internet clicks. But without further ado, here is Neon. You can? You can get a girl? What do you got? Money? You got money? What do you got? You don't know all about money. You can have as much money. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. I'm sure you get a lot. Oh, I do. Oh, I do. I promise you, I do. I promise you, I do. I don't know who the you are. What's your name? What's your name? Huh? Bro, these kids are weird. I don't know who you think you are. I don't know who. You're hard, showing off. So this little tough guy is called Neon and he's one of those annoying little streamers that just annoy people for content. He's not only known for being one of the biggest simps on the internet, but he's also known for being one of the biggest bell ends. You talking shit? Yeah. Watch your mouth, bro. This in my way. Watch your mouth, bro. Watch your mouth, bro. Oh my god, hey! Something needs to happen, bro! So as you can see, like many of this new generation of streamers, he loves to start problems with random people and then hide behind his security when it gets serious. He's like that co little kid at school that antagonizes other people then runs behind the teacher. Now unfortunately most of the time he's managed to get away with this type of behavior because he just runs behind the security. But now a lot of people are starting to recognize him and they know what he's like so whenever they see him coming they just cut that shit out. Is that your girl? Yeah bro. Damn. Hey. How old are you? Don't say no disrespect for shit bro. I already know how you is bro. But... Hey, I'm you know what? I'm a changed man. Have a great day. That didn't even feel right. Oh you know what? Man, this little turd Neon causes problems wherever he goes. He manages to get kicked out of everywhere. No, don't record. Don't record. I right? just pictures. Jeez, guys, they said no recording, bro. I right, just photos. Just photos. Just, when we're getting this stuff, just take pictures. Yeah, I'm trolling. I'm trolling. Keep recording. Oh yeah. I think they only have one in L. Chair and shit. <laughs> oh, we don't really care about the sign. We want to take uh, photos next yeah, to the clothes. Can't you can't. Oh, so you don't want free business? No. Yeah. There's a reason why there's no one in this <laughs> store anyway. Yep. Have fun, brother. Piece of you know, recently Donald Trump was at a UFC event. And this Muppet Neil managed to get kicked out of the event before it even started because he said some dumb shit about Donald Trump and the Secret Service. So I'm going to walk up, um, you know, I'm going to talk my shit to Trump, and then um, it's going to be a very good experience. And I'm going to talk my shit. I don't care if the Secret Service is there, I don't give a fuck. I'm going to talk shit, so. Now, Dana White, he's not got much tolerance for this new generation. This next generation is just such a fucking group of Man. So when Dana White heard Neon was up to his dumb little antics, he was having none of it and he cut it out immediately. There's a popular streamer online called Neon and he yeah. said he was a banned from the arena tonight, specifically by... He by said he was banned from the arena? No, what happened is he, he said some stupid shit on Instagram. He, he bought tickets so he wasn't anywhere close. When you start saying stupid shit like that, yeah, you're probably going to get busted up and thrown out of here, you know, making threats and talking dumb shit, looking for clout. I believe he said he was going to confront I don't care what he said. I think he said he was going to confront Donald Trump. I don't care what he said. Did he? Well, he wasn't able to. He's just f***ing tall, too. You know that? F***ing punk. And now for the main stage breaker of Jack Doherty. This little donut with the sunglasses has a whole YouTube channel dedicating to pissing other people off. He's another one of these annoying little prankers like that Jack Doherty twat. No one's touching me. No one's touching me. 
Not tonight. The only difference is with this donut and the other one is he can't afford security to come fight his battles. So one day, he's probably going to get caught lacking. And even if they deserve it and it's hard sometimes, the best thing you can do is just not give him a reaction. Because without the reaction, they're nothing. Go. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Get that shit out of my face. Or out of my face. Or what? Okay. Yeah. You're gonna take his stuff. You're gonna touch him. I didn't touch no, him. No, yes, you did. I didn't touch him. We're doing the same job. Six. You don't touch him. Took the mic because he put it in my face. I didn't put it in your face, but yeah. Alright, let's just leave. Right. Guys, subscribe because I'm a. Cause... If he keeps recording, I'm gonna have to break the camera. I don't care. Then you're gonna get kicked out of your school and you're gonna have to talk I'm, to your parents. I'm not gonna get kicked out of shit. You're gonna have your parents. Don't touch me. 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 Hey, just go back to your jail cell. Hey, 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 hey. Bro, we're like, we're shit there, motherfuckers. Let's go. I didn't say any curse words. What I say? Just watch your language. What I say? You got a stupid shirt on over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shirt, your kids bro? can't read, though. You about? Your kids can't read. Can get they? away from you me. You started talking to me, buddy. Get away from uh, me. Uh, 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 uh. You get away from me. Watch your kids. Go wa walk away. Hey, now I smell. I can't stand these types of pranksters, and this little tat is the biggest prick out of all of them. He's the worst type of one. He starts trouble, and then he hides behind his security. I can imagine him at school just starting fights with people, then running behind the teacher. What a little shit. Yeah. Yo, yo, bro. No, 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 no. What are you doing? Go, go. Yo, yo, yeah, come on. Yo, Zach, Zach, Zach. Yo, chill, Zach. Follow me. Yo, Zach. Oh my God, what the? Yeah, I don't think that was a language. I'm so paranoid. Hey, I can't sit next to her. Hey, hell no, bitch. Ow, chill. What the f And what is it that I wish to accomplish with giving these guys airtime on this channel? Well, I want to presume that the world would just know that these guys are not who should be learned from, but with a mixture of the times and bad parenting, we have actual kids growing up to be the same kind of nuisances. <laughs> My food again, I'm and I'm throwing all of your phones. Hey, you're not touching our phone. Don't, don't, don't put your hand in my food watch again. Watch Do not do that. Hey, you don't not. do that to people. Who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? Stop filming me. You're a nobody. You're it's a live stream. You can't stop it. Who the f are you? Who are you? you? Give me the phone. Now you're not touching my phone. Touch my phone. I'm gonna actually do something. What about are you gonna do? Pick me up. Back the fuck up. Back me up. I will. I will. How old are you? Five. Do you think I can go Do you? Do you? All right, hold up. Do you? Don't do yeah, that again. Hold up, hold up. Yeah, shut the f up. Let's go. It's easy for us to always blame social media, but a lot of this is down to their parents and how they were raised. Because if you're raised by decent parents, you're not going to act like this. All that's going to end up happening is they'll fuck with the wrong person one day and they'll get hurt. And the main problem of today are kids mixed with parents who should have swallowed because they were just not made to be parents because they just aren't these kids have clearly grown up watching people like neon and jack and were not told to not watch them which is why this problem now exists and honestly the problem for me is that kids like these make me honestly want to thank my dad for making me be a respectful kid because these kids have no role models except for other kids. And that alone is a disgrace. I would say that we should throw these people like a Neon and Jack to the curb because they bring nothing good to society other than anger. But at the same time, if parents were actual parents and parented, then people like Neon and Jack wouldn't have oxygen to their flame. Kids without a stable structure like their twig-like parents, 
will grow up looking for something that looks stable. And what do they see? They see people like Neon being annoying but still making the big cash or stability. And then they cling on to it and psyop themselves into being like them. It is a weird mixture of bad parenting, bad role models, and parasocial relationships that are growing up these kids of today. And then on top of that, we've got social programming from everywhere, like red pill and womanism, and then the absolute multifaceted other directions from the internet. We need to teach future parents to live a life of consistency. They want to be parents, then they should be taught on how to be parents. Just like one of our community's main traits. Consistency with your words and actions. And that is to say two things. First, that if you are going to engage in hookup culture, which even though I disagree with the action, if you are going to engage in that behavior, then you should plan for the inevitability of a bad day. Not every day is going to be a good one where no pregnancy scare happens because you wore protection. Sometimes a woman is malicious and pokes a hole in it. Sometimes a man is dumb and doesn't wear it when the inevitable happens. And sometimes a woman gets pregnant but is vehemently against sending that baby on a vacation to La La Land. So, if you are going to engage in that behavior, while I disagree, I tell you, prepare for the inevitable bad day. Lest you want your kid to one day be seen on the big screen for being hated. And just to note, I do not care if I told her to send that baby on a vacation. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes, and congratulations, now you're a father, so be one. You made a mistake of playing a stupid game, now it is your turn to be better than you were yesterday by pulling up your bootstraps and being who that kid deserves. Don't make the same mistake you made yesterday and be better. Now, this message is also for people who plan to be parents. If you want a kid, then understand that that comes with being a parent. If you say that you want to be a parent, then be a parent. Be consistent, and that is to also say, pull up your bootstraps and learn that discipline for that cute kid is just as necessary as loving that kid. If that kid plays a stupid game, then teach that kid a stupid prize. Because if you don't, then you may as well be setting up that cute kid for a future life of hatred onto him. And is that the parent that you want to be remembered for? Oh, that kid? Yeah, that's my little stain on earth. <laughs> Whoops. Be better and live with the rules of truth, honesty, reliability, self-control, and consistency with your words and actions. Go with power and knowledge that you're listening to the correct side of life. And I encourage you to spread the word of this community to everyone. Because in this landscape, everyone can benefit from it. And it would be selfish of you to hide it. But you should also sustain that you will leave with the understanding that you will be a better person for being alongside us all. But without further ado, have a good one.